Hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to Hitchcock Sunday, uh, episode three, I believe. I did uh, two episodes uh, last week, and I reviewed two Hitchcock movies today. Okay, and I have two Criterion movies, and for this episode, episode three, I'm reviewing uh, 1935's Al Hitchcock's The 39 Steps. Okay, um, this is one of his British uh, films. Okay, and again, this basically is the story of Richard uh, Hanna. Hannaney, I think that's his, how you pronounce his name. Hannaney, he's a Canadian visit to London, visitor to London, and he's at a show, you know, seeing a Mr. Murray, a guy who can remember facts, any facts. You know, they ask the, the audience questions, and he takes, you know, the audience asks questions, and he remembers everything, and he can, you know, repeat the answer to that. Okay, and during that show, um, there's actually shots are fired, and everybody, you know, runs out of the theater. Okay, and in the street, Mr. Uh, We'll call Richard, uh, played by Robert Donay. He um, basically got kind of gets picked up by this uh, young lady, Annabelle Smith. She basically, you know, says, w you know, would you, you know, take me? Basically, he picks her up, or what well, she picks him up, I guess, in a way, and he takes her back to his flat. Okay, and then where she basically tells him that she's basically hiding. You know, she has two men chasing her, and he even tells her, you know, you know, there's some secrets and stuff, and and she just just want to stay the night, and he you know he agrees to do that. You know cause she's very secretive, and you know don't turn on the lights. And she even points down to the street where you see two men, you know down on the street, and she said they were following her. And he basically tells her, you know, you know he you know, she basically tells him, you know that there's a, there's this you know this plot, okay, uh, that could uh, you know that's going to affect you know the war effort. I think not the yeah I think it's a war effort. Yeah, the war effort, and or at least the area nautical uh, interest in England, and you know, and she basically tells him, you know, she has to go to a place. She even gives him a map and tells him she has to go to a place, you know, to meet a certain person. Okay, okay. So somewhere during the night, you know, he gives her the bed and he takes the couch, and somewhere in the middle of the night, you know, she, you know, she gets up, and you see it. You know, she says something to him, and then she. Faints, and then you see she has a knife in her back. She's been murdered, of course. So of course he totally freaks out, you know, <laughs> and he basically is on the run. You know, he has to. He basically sneaks out of the apartment, you know. By I think he tells a, the milkman some fantastical story about you know cheating with a married woman, and borrows his hat and coat and sneaks out. And basically he's on the run, and basically he's on the run to find out exactly what why this woman was murdered and course it's this whole big spy ring and conspiracy and basically you know of course he's wanted for the murder because she's been found in his apartment of course of course so the cops are after him and also these spies are after him at the same time and you have the basic Hitchcock story of on an innocent man on the run okay and I like this movie Robert Donay who is the star of this movie he had a certain charm to it and yeah you, know, you can tell he has kind of a star presence and he kind of he carries the movie because, like I said, he's on the run. Literally, you see him being chased by the cops, even by these people, and he has to escape numerous times from people. And even on the train, he's being pursued by the cops and the spies. And even through the you know, it goes. I think he has to go to, to Scotland, right? I think it's Scotland or yeah, the Scottish Moors. Yeah, and he he gets chased everywhere, basically trying to you know prove his innocence and find out what the thirty nine steps are. Okay, and I don't want to spoil what the thirty nine steps means. In the movie, because they do reveal what that means in the movie, but I don't want to spoil exactly what that means. But again, Robert Dune, I thought was really good, and, and you can tell this is early Hitchcock, of course, and you know his familiar formula of, of men, you know, innocent men being on the run, and you can you can see the sort of similarities to uh, you know like North by Northwest, where you know innocent man on the run being pursued by the cops and also by these foreign agents and stuff, and. It's really good. I like the 39 steps. It's like 86 minutes. It's black and white. And like I said, this is one of Alfred Hitchcock's British films. And it has a certain charm to it. And I spotted Alfred Hitchcock in this movie. Okay. And, you know, he shows up in his little cameos in his movies. And I spotted him, you know, where he is in the movie and stuff. He doesn't really face the camera when you see him. But I could tell it was him. Okay. Anyway, uh, 39 steps is a good, it's a good thriller. Like I said, and there's a little bit of romance too because, you know, you have that, the classic thing where, he meets a woman on his when he's on the run, uh, Pam, uh, a woman named Pamela, played by Madeline Carroll, who, of course, you know, 
you know, he basically tries to explain to her she instantly hates him. <laughs> you know, first it helps, you know, he instantly hates him. And then, of course, through wet, weird circumstances, he, get, he winds up being handcuffed to her. And, of course, they're on the run together. And then, of course, you could pretty much figure out, you know, how that's kind of turned out, you know, the Hitchcock formula usually. But I enjoyed it. And I would give uh, uh, Alfred Hitchcock 39 steps. I would give it a, a 7.5 for 39 steps. So I think it was pretty good. So I give it an 8. Well, no, I'm going to give it a 7.5. I, I liked it. Uh, okay. A 7.5. Okay. Definitely recommend it. Definitely good to see the evolution, the beginning of the evolution of Alfred Hitchcock's you know, career and stuff. And this, I thought, was a really entertaining movie. Okay. And good location shooting and stuff. And he had a good charismatic lead actor in it. So that was good, too, as well. Okay. And like I said, the, the women's part wasn't, you know, that memorable. I mean, wasn't that. You know, she wasn't. You know, she came into the movie like, like way into the movie. Her character, so she's she doesn't get a lot of development and stuff. But, you know, she's feisty as usual. His kind of heroines are. So, I enjoyed it. Again, a seven point five. I was trying to debate whether to give it an eight. Should I give it an eight? Terry Hitchcock and his man. I like the lead actor in it. No, I'm gonna give it a seven point five. Stick to seven point five. Okay. There we go. So that's my review of the 39 Steps, okay, and thank you for watching my Hitchcock uh, Sundays, uh, episode 3, okay, and I'll be reviewing after this, filming another video for another Hitchcock film that I watched today as well, uh, uh, Foreign Correspondent, so tune in for that one. If, again, if you like this review, please hit the subscribe button down below, and let me know what you think. Feel free to leave comments down below, and this is Trey Pastor saying so long, and take care.